Hey, welcome to my Let's Play. Uh, my name is Scott Tomlinson. I'm the Terrible Gamer. And hopefully we're going to make our way through this. Uh, I've made my own Minecraft uh, mod pack here. Let's uh, take a look at some of the uh, mods we have going on here. I have installed actually additions. Acoustic tomes, uh, ambient sounds, apple skins, aroma cores, some of these are just the base. I've got auto saplings, so it automatically replants. Bobbles, limes of plenty. Got bookshelf, botania. Chest transporter, block cooking for blockheads, dark utilities, densors, embers, environmental tech, extreme reactors, fast leaf decay. Got gravestones, iron chests, journey map, just enough items, just enough resources, mantle, of course, it's a, got mine colonies, which is why I'm focusing around on this. Uh, my goal here is to basically treat this as if I've gone off to uh, find a spot to start a colony, and we're going to do a little exploration and then see if we can build a mine colony for it. Anyway, um, not sure about this one right here, Minecraft 1.12. We'll see how that works out. I may have to remove that mod. Uh, then we've got uh, Mystical Agriculture, Natura, not enough wands. Pam's Harvest Craft, love everything Pam's. Uh, Quark, Reborn Core, We've got the refined storage, Steve's carts, two, and then in storage drawers. Got a time HUD on here, so we can keep an eye on our time, mainly for me with my recording. Tinker's tools leveling, Tinker's construct, Toro health damage indicators, I like that, and Totemic. I uh, played it a long time ago. I'd like to see what they've done with it. Uh, 11. Main miner, because I'm just lazy. <laughs> And we'll go from there. Oh, XNet. I love XNet. Uh, Direwolf20 uh, introduced me to that and uh, loved watching what he did with it. And uh, if you haven't seen, uh, Soren's got a really nice uh, use of XNet going on on their Forgecraft. Uh, so check that out. Doubt I'll be doing anything just as uh, any better, but uh, I might definitely steal what they've done. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we've got it here. I've got a Let's Play and I've got a Test World. And uh, let's take a look here where we come out in our Let's Play. Okay, looks like we've got a pretty nice little location here. Got spruce. Ooh, look at those. Those might be good for caving right there. Look around here, and is that any time I use my wife's name in the code, it seems I've spawned next to a village. So uh, I'm lucky I married her for more than that reason, but still, uh, I usually use the uh, seed of "I love Amy." This one's a uh, little variation on that. Uh, need to get more money for Amy, but. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, I can give you the seed if you'd like the seed. But uh, this looks interesting. We've got a nice little... And I'm liking the ambient sounds, but uh, let's take a look here. And uh, we're going to go under options. Music and sounds. Yeah, we got everything on. I like to run these down to about 50%. So let's see here. Blocks, we'll leave it 50 exactly, unless I can't do that. These I like to go down to about 20%. Music, about 20%. Weather at 50%. Just my preferences. Hostile creatures, I like to keep them about 75 because uh, I tend to get uh, totally, totally. Uh, <laughs> opaque to what's going on about me. Hence the title, A Terrible Gamer. I just get so focused. 
Anyway, I'm not sure whether this is going to have us anything right here, but I'm going to pop that down to about 50% as well. And then if I need to, I can adjust the master volume. Alright. Hmm. Show subtitles. I'm... I'm not thinking that's good. One of the things I definitely want to do here is that in controls, auto jump will be off. We do not like that. Alright. Journey map. There we go. All right, here we are. All right. Well, what I'm going to do now is, since I have a village here, let's open this up. Uh, get some bread out. We got some hills. Oh, no, yes, definitely want our lexicon. There we go. And there we go. I think we'll leave this here as a marker for spawn. And uh, for that matter, let's go ahead and hit and type in spawn. Let's save that. Now, while I have appeared next to a village, I'm going to go over here and check these out. See what's in our little village over here. Ooh, yes. Actually, Additions has the rice, which we can make paper from. And then we also have other... Hmm, this is interesting. I was pretty sure I turned that off. Hmm. I might not want to go very far at all. I've got a nice little mining set up here. Let's see what we got going on here. It's going to be hard to uh, build up a uh, defense around here. Oh man, I don't like that. Did I turn it on instead of off? Alright, this is... Hello, Mr. Squid. All right, this is one thing I always like to do. We'll do this here, and this is our village number one. Let's say villages will be blue, it looks like. Varying states. Interesting, I'm not sure what's going on here, but I can live with that. Huh. Fermenting barrel, ooh. Interesting. Hello, sir. You're an engineer. I think I can go find my own quartz. You've got your own little power gen going on here. You're all nice and set up, aren't you? Huh. Alright, well, I'm going to go downstairs. Nothing. Let's see what we've got. Wow, this is just a interesting little layout here. Oh yes. Well, this is interesting. Guess we won't go hungry here much, and I've got some jars here. Thank you, sir. Uh, why pay for it when you can just walk out with it, right? Hmm. It's like we got quite a bit of... <laughs> world gin conflict here. Not sure what happened there. But we wound up with a lot of coffee, a lot of canola, some rice, and flax seeds. So this is uh, working out fairly good for me. Huh.
What else we got going on around here? Doesn't look like we have much going on here. Oh, cool. That means that we probably have some spruce there. Oak. Oak. What if we got some dark oak? Dark oak is needed with some of the buildings in mine colonies as you level up. Spruce and oak seems to be what's going on here for right now. Ooh, there's our first beehive to spot. I want to look around here and we will come back if there's anything exciting and uh, I'll talk at you later. Okay, I made my way up from the village and I'm here to as you can see there's spawn and this is that large cave mouth I saw and I've done a little exploring here. Uh, dug out some uh, coal there. Went around putting up uh, torches. This actually goes around and out to that side. And we're going to go out around and down through here. Just goes down to a dead end down around the corner there. So, truthfully, uh, I don't have much time left here. I probably should get some um, sheep, which I found sheep over here. So. I'm going to get my axe out and try to get me enough wool to make a bed with because that's just what I need to do. Oh, almost hated to do that. I'm to think of it. Because I don't know if I should get all the same wool. <laughs> Okay, uh, something else I can toss aside that I don't really need at the moment. Oats. I don't usually ever do oats. Alright, let's run back over here to our station. Make ourselves a bed. And get some sleep. If you're picking up a little buzz noise, that is my computer. I don't have the greatest one in the world, but uh, does me pretty good. Let's see what happens here with this. This could be interesting. Let's see what kind of bed we get. It's like white. Okay, let's uh, put this puppy down. And it's nighttime. Uh, there you are. Hopefully I was able to keep the villagers from expiring. And let's uh, go in and see if I can get a little mining done here. I'm going to get some more coal. And uh, you guys probably aren't interested in all that. But a uh, little vein miner here. And... Uh, for good measure. Anyway, uh, this is where I'm going to set up my base camp for right now. Then we'll do a little exploring, uh, look around. Um, we'll see where we go from there. All right, I'm back. And uh, I think one of the first things I need to do is go get some uh, clay. Seems to make toast. You need bakeware in this. Uh, and uh, to make toast sandwich, of course you need two toast. And let's see here. Let's just see what all you can use toast for. We've got uh, beet burger, McPam. All sorts of... Let's see about a jelly sandwich. Apple jelly sandwich. Let's see. 
pistachio butter, peanut butter, apple jelly, and regular bread. So I'm going to have to make toast that way. But anyway, to make the toast or anything else, I'm going to need some clay. And to get any further in tinkers, I'm going to need clay. So there's some clay. Let's see how much we got. Uh, almost two stacks. Let's see if there's any more around here. I tend to go through clay pretty darn quick. So let's get that. Ooh, what do we got here? Probably a bad idea. Well, I'm not drowning at this point, so... Alright. Looks like it's just a... little hole in the ground. Water falling into it. No secret entrance to a cavern or anything like that. Let's take a look on around here. I know, I'm horrible. I just tear things up all over. Alright, I think I got plenty of flax seed. No sense getting that. And these are close enough by. Ooh, I did not see. I love my berries. Oh, and I'll take those. Looks like I'm going to be able to make some blueberry jelly. Love me the blueberry. These are close enough. I don't need to do anything with them. I can just come down and harvest whenever. So, and of course, Pam's has got these nice little herb things going all around. We've got some bell peppers, hey, potatoes. Got birch wood over here, which is nice. What do we got here? This is a tall, mystical light gray, so let's get a light gray. Another one of the Pam's. Really, I'm doing fairly good for food. I've got sheep all around. Ooh, this guy right here, he is a... He is a light gray, I believe. No, this is the light gray. Light gray and gray sheep are almost necessary when building the uh, warehouses. So when we get into the mine colonies set up. So right now I'm just going to gather some resources. And then I'll probably go out and find a better location for a... Uh, colony. Of course, the more I'm looking around here, the more I'm liking it. There's a lot, large, flat, open area right here. Plenty of water. You get fishermen going on here. It's actually fairly good. I may not have to go very far. The thing is, you really need a variety of tree types and wood. And so I will have to go out and look for... Uh, say um, dark oak and I've got spruce already so that's good got birch over there I think dark oak is our main one we'll need to go Ooh, got another berry type over here let's see what kind of bush this is this one I might uh, dig up and move transplant to a better location if it's a little different than what... It's just another blueberry bush. Well, he can stay there. I like to get a variety of the uh, berries so that I can do the mixed berry salads. They come in handy for food. And one of the things you're going to need desperately when it comes to uh, village is to keep them fed. It looks like it's getting night time now, so let's head back up to the uh, cave and uh, we'll pick back up in a minute. 
All right, we're back, and uh, looks to me like I might be able to find some dark oak over on that uh, little cusp of trees. So I'm going to go over here and look. Then I'll probably do some mining, as well as some other exploring. can't believe I have all these sheep here. This is pretty nice. I believe I spotted some cows earlier. And there are ravines like you wouldn't believe. Every ooh, that looks like that might be a spawner. Hmm. May have to go down there and investigate. First, let's find out if we have some dark oak. Yes, we have dark oak. Let's get some of that. I want me some of that. Yeah, oh yeah, fast leaf decay. Gotta love that. There. We want that tree sapling there. Though they will re uh, replant themselves automatically because we have the uh, auto sapling. But I want to move them a little closer to home. Yeah. Don't really need all this uh, dark oak right at the moment. While I found it, I want to pick some up. All right. Well, while I'm at it, I might as well grab some. Didn't soar. There you go. My goodness. There is... This is the one problem I have with the area, is there are so many ravines. Don't really have that much call for eucalyptus wood at the moment. I am going to get me some spruce, though. And I'll probably pick up some oak as well. see here. Probably won't pick up the oak right now because I am pretty full. So let's head back. Find it interesting he had some uh, equipment there which I might wind up borrowing. Huh. Yeah, this is one thing that's making me kind of iffy here. I might move over that direction to see if there's anything I can do that way. And of course, got cotton there, so the string. Is make my way up here. I am the terrible gamer. Meet my lousy parkour skills. <laughs> Try that again, and there we go. All right, there we are. And uh, let's uh, offset. Ooh, got a persimmon. That's nice. We'll pot those away. Uh, okay. Reeds, rice, clay. How are we doing? Ooh, I am kind of hungry, aren't I? Uh, Let's see, we got uh, some of this. Let's see what we can do with this. Useful! Actually, Editions Manual. Once there was a kitty who really wanted some jam, so I made some jam. Seriously, this is jam. Okay! <laughs> one of one page, and that's it, huh? Well, oh, by the way, we picked up the Actual Editions Manual whenever we... Uh, I wasn't recording, so let's see here. Let's let's take a look here. I'm gonna scroll down here and let's get a couple of spruce, turn them into logs, and then let's go this way. Wooden pressure plate. Let's do this. 
What's it this? It's an item rack. Drying rack. Hmm. Let's take the item rack. We'll put it right there. And let's see what happens if we... Mm, not exactly what I want to do. Let's take a look here. Bookshelf. Is there a bookshelf? How about just shelf? No, I may have to go looking for another mod for that, but... Eh, that's an item rack. That's... I can make several of those. Let's just uh, stretch those across there. And uh, that there, and that there. Oh, oh yeah, that's going to be an interesting thing. I don't know if that... It does not render. Well, we may not want to do that. We'll just put that one in here. All right, well, we got clay. We need to sit, find some gravel and some more sand. There's plenty of sand over here for now. Some more over there. That big ravine there, if I took that out, that's all the water rushed down in there. And I am kind of curious about that. Hmm. Anyway, let's take a look here. Let's... Uh, Ooh, regeneration and speed. Well, I like that stuff already. I will die very quickly by running off the edge here, probably. But with regeneration already gone. Whoa, was that lightning? Is that just a ah, just visual glitch? Alright, we'll look around here, and I definitely want to see about getting down there towards that. I have a couple of torches. Let's see, do I have a shovel? Let's do this. Can I... Nope, I cannot. No vein minoring. When it comes to sand, probably dirt and... as well, so... Well, there went the shovel. Alright, that's what I was afraid of. I'll take that, and that, and that, and that. as much sand as I can before I head down there because, you know, if I die, I definitely want to leave a bunch of sand in my grave. Here we go. Got a half a stack. Alright. We're starting to flow. It's going to go. And I'm going to get caught here on the corner and low in the hold. Alright, we made it down, so let's uh, run over here and plop down. Oh, this might just be one of those underground areas, not really a spawner at all. But I do have mossy cobblestone to worry about, so... Let's see what happens here, try to... Swim upstream here and see what we got going on. Alright. Let's 
We've got a little lava here. Sounds like we have a spider up there somewhere. Alright, well, let's... Ah, getting towards darkness. I'm going to have to try to make my way out of here. So, let's see if we can swim upstream fast enough not to let this spawn. Looks like I'm surrounded. Yay me. Always, uh... Day late and a dollar short, it seems like. All right. Let's see, I'm avoiding stuff for right now. Let's double time back over. Oh, I like that, the hoot elves in the background. Let's see here. I think this might be an easier way up. I haven't really been paying attention. Yep, looks like a much easier way to get into my... All that parkour for no reason. Alright, here we are. I'm going to go uh, lay down and we'll see how this goes. I'll... Uh, Wakey, wakey. Mossy cobblestone will come in handy if uh, building as well. So what I really probably should do, now let's take a look here. Uh, barrel. Is that a storage barrel? No, it's a fermenting barrel. Storage, maybe. Star. <laughs> store. Alright, we've got a small storage barrel, we've got a medium storage barrel, and we have a large storage barrel. A crate, sorry. So I need four, and then a wood casing. That's uh, Alright, let's take a look here. We'll uh, use the spruce for right now. And the dark oak will save. Alright, let's uh, pull that out and go over here. Oh, let's see here, we want this. So we'll need sticks. Just what I thought that was for. And we'll get more of that. And let's go here. Alright, let's uh, probably should use the spruce. Psh. Okay, terrible game. Did I mention that? a wood casing. Now let's go here. We want I shouldn't have done that. That's going to be copyrighted isn't it? even though I'm a lousy singer hummer or whatever you want to call it. And there we go, small storage crate. Now this is what we're going to start putting all of our building materials into. And we will try to be a little more organized with this. I'll keep those out. All right, well, what I'm going to do here is uh, take a look around more time. 
I'm going to probably uh, gather some more resources offline or off uh, camera and uh, we'll come back and we'll see about exploring out that direction to see if there's a little less in the way of ravines. And, ooh, ooh, is that, that looks like we might have some pumpkins over that way, so that'll be good to look for. And, uh, anyway, when I come back, that's what we'll be doing. Hope you guys uh, enjoy. If you have any suggestions other than, you know, crude ones, let me know. And, uh, we'll, uh, see you again on the next episode. Thank you.